This is a short supplementary video to the last video to show you how to lace up your corset so that there are no loops or bunny ears at the waistline. In the past, women from relatively well-to-do families would have maids to help them dress, so they didn't need to put on the corset themselves and as such, they didn't need to necessarily have bunny ears at the waist. However, you can still tighten your corset by yourself without bunny ears at the waist. It just takes a little bit more time and practice. To do this, you will need to be already experienced at lacing your corset by yourself. You loosen the corset strings, fasten the busk, and make sure the corset is straight and even like you usually do. When tightening the laces, I start at the top every time and move my way down to the bottom. You'll notice that in the beginning, a lot of slack can accumulate in one X at a time when you're using this method. To avoid getting your laces tangled, you can use one hand to hold the slack X of laces while you locate the lower X with your other hand. Or you can pluck the X's from the side instead of at the center of the X. You can see in this video that I've done both methods. Now, this lacing method requires you to have a little bit more strength in your triceps than the traditional bunny ears method, because you no longer have the leverage of the long laces at the waistline. Also, having more X's to go through before getting to the ends of the lace means that you may have more friction when you pull the ends, so you will need to pull a little harder than you're used to. I will say, however, that this method is a little easier to do when you're working with a corset that has a good amount of friction or grip between the laces and the grommets. The cincher has size double zero grommets and is laced with cotton shoelace. You may find that in other corsets which have bigger grommets or slipperier laces that the waistline may be a little bit more difficult to cinch down and have it stay tight. Getting a little tighter now, the X's are also getting harder to pull. You'll see that, close to the waistline, I use two hands to pull the laces. Another person on YouTube, Corset Rookie, has made an excellent video of a powerful two-hand corset tightening technique, which I'm using here. Click the link in the corner to see his video. Closer to the end, I focus exclusively on the laces at the waist to get rid of any odd outward bowing happening there. Then I tie the laces into a large bow. You can tie it into a double bow to eat some of the length and just leave it there if you plan to wear a skirt over your corset or something else that will hide the lump. But I find it easier to tie it into just one bow so there's that, not that much bulk and then tuck the laces under the corset. I simply start by tucking the laces in the back, around one side and over to the other side. I don't find this to be uncomfortable in any way. And that's it. As I said, if you can't get this down the first time, then don't give up and keep practicing. Using mirrors definitely helps, as is doing some upper body exercises to strengthen your triceps and shoulders so you don't get fatigued in the middle of lacing. When done properly, you can see that the back looks incredibly smooth. You can also pair this technique with a good quality liner or bra to combat the muffin top like you see on me. If you liked this video, then please show it by clicking the like button and feel free to leave any comments. Thanks. Thank you.